Economists are calling for a global recession. Energy prices are going to squeeze industrial and consumer discretionary businesses. There's a good chance that IT budgets will be under pressure in the coming months. This video will discuss some ways IT leaders can reduce their operating budgets without compromising service delivery. Hi, I'm Steve Murphy. I'm a vice president at ARG, and while I work for ARG, this video is my own and does not represent the views or opinions of my employer. This channel is dedicated to helping IT leaders make great business decisions. And when the economy lags, budgets tend to get reduced, or at least increases are not as large as hoped for. For example, a budget increase of 6% might seem like you have more to spend in the coming year, but if your costs increase 10%, that's actually a budget decrease. IT leaders need to know how to respond when they're unable to meet their current financial needs. There are three main categories of cost containment. Uh, cost containment we'll discuss in this video. The first area is personnel. One of the first things that might happen when budgets are tight is a hiring freeze. This means that the organization isn't hiring new personnel and usually it's a directive that's largely corporate-wide or at least administrative and support organizations. Production and sales are frequently exempt from hiring freezes because well you still need people to run the plants and sales is an area that the organization may want to expand during these downtimes. So if you have any open positions, you may end up sacrificing these spots for the good of meeting your budget requirements. If a hiring freeze is not in place, let's take a look at some other personnel strategies. So if your team experiences attrition through voluntary employee departures, such as resignations or retirements, consider whether you can delay backfilling that role. Even delaying a rehire by a few months can create some space in your budget without permanently impacting your organization. When you do hire, consider hiring someone a few levels below the individual who left. This will reduce your long-term replacement cost and provide career pathing opportunities for your team. Maybe there's someone else in the organization ready and willing to move into the vacant role, allowing more junior hires to backfill farther down the organizational ladder. Hiring significantly junior people relative to those who have left is not always possible, but it should be your default model, and then exceptions can be made. If you have poor performers on your team, you may be inclined to eliminate their position to save costs. I'd consider that step carefully. What's the likelihood that you'll be asked to reduce staff in the future? Keeping lower performers on, the short, on for the short term may help avoid terminating stronger performers in the future. There's no right answer here. These are just some considerations. Now, closely aligned to personnel, Examine your contractors, especially contractors that have had uh, their position for a long time. Frequently, contractors that have been working for the organization for years have loose statements of work and have established generous fixed fee contracts. These generous contracts were typically negotiated when their services were crucial. Today, those services may not have the same value or require the same level of effort. Consider whether internal staff can replace contractors at this stage. Usually that's a less expensive option. Of course, be careful not to paint all contractors with the same brush. There may be critical services being performed at an effective cost by your vendor partners. The next strategy is compute. Let's start by reconciling your licensing. There are so many licenses that it's almost impossible to track manually today, especially when licensing is at an individual level or if licensing was purchased for a one-time project. There are technology expense management platforms that while costing a little money can find you big savings and keep your spending tight in the future. Cancel or right size your licensing to make sure you're only paying for what you need. And while you're at it, consider whether or not you still need those maintenance contracts and whether they're at the right level of maintenance for your organization. Next, we'll wanna take a, a full advantage of the cloud while making sure we are not overspending on the cloud at the same time. By taking full advantage, I mean doing what the cloud does best. During the pandemic, many organizations moved aggressively into the cloud, but many of these companies simply lifted and shifted their workloads. Now is the time to reconsider whether you have the proper architecture for cost optimization. We also want to determine if the public cloud is actually saving us money. Consider having a consultant run a cost analysis on your cloud computing environments and have them make recommendations on whether a different approach might be more cost effective. Again, sometimes we have to spend a little money to save a lot. 
Third, I'll recommend re reviewing your service providers, such as network, voice communication, collaboration, and cybersecurity. These areas have declined in cost significantly over the recent years. I don't do many commercials for my company on this channel. After all, these videos are my own and not an ad for my employer. However, we are very good at what we do, so I don't mind giving them a plug when it's appropriate. My company specializes in reducing a variety of IT costs. We represent the top providers in our areas of focus, and it doesn't cost you anything to work with our consultants. If you're looking to reduce costs among your service providers, feel free to reach out. My contact information is in the description of this video. If you got some value out of this video, I'd appreciate a like, a thumbs up, and thank you very much for doing that. If you want to find your way back to this channel in the future, the best way of doing that is by hitting that subscribe button. That will put my videos in your feed and allow you to come back at your convenience. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.